Hi everyone, welcome to the last episode for the Electricals collection guide. And here are all the locations for the Electricals on the Yash Yashiori Island. And this is the last episode, so uh, if you need certain ones specific and that you cannot get to, just go to the timestamp down below for the numbers that's marked, marked on the map. First of all, you want to teleport that waypoint. Uh, it was just showcased earlier and then grab that electro seed flower and run as fast as possible towards this stone pillar here and try to climb above and grab the electricals now once you have done that get out immediately because or else you'll be taking too much damage that will put to the statue of the seven nearby and then you want to work your way across first and then accept missions if you haven't done so because these missions uh majority of them are actually daily based so you need to come back a lot of times so be sure to try to do them uh, each day and refresh them uh, but first of all you want to talk to this guy he wants you to give him knuckle weeds uh, and he will be needing a lot so prepare at least like 48 for about three or four days worth of uh, his missions but once you have finished talking to him and give him the knuckle weeds um, he'll be asking you to come back at a different time so in the meantime we'll collect electric clothes if you want to come back come towards this peak of these bone structures and there's your next electric pillars. Then next you want to come down to here, talk to this guy, I think his name is Kaji. Then he'll give you the quest that eventually will help you get rid of all the stormy weather. Uh, Kaji, yeah. He'll, he'll help you get rid of all the stormy weathers in the area. Once you talk to him, then you need to investigate this stone pillar behind him. This is one of the warding statues. That warding statues, all warding statues will require you to have a stone and a orb to deactivate all the stormy weather in the area and before you do that most of them needs to solve these type of puzzles and I recommend you use a boat character because both characters then once you hit the uh, original statue that it will shoot off a electrical uh, signal basically and then it will relay try to relay it to the center where the uh, water barrier is at and then for this first one it's actually quite easy as long as you turn the first one then the second one towards the right direction then the remaining ones you don't have to do anything and then now you need to defeat the enemies in the area then once you have done so then the orb and the stone is nearby and first of all is the pearl oh yeah that's the pearl so it's the same as the orb it's floating in the media and the stone is underneath here then once you have grabbed it you want to go back to the statue and uh, submit it to the statue then the area's weather will uh, change back to normal Make sure once you have completed submitting the all uh, the pearl and the stone that you have collected you want to go back to talk to kaji or else the next part of the mission will not proceed even if you found the other statues to interact with so you want to make sure you talk to him because that's the mistake i made uh one time that i didn't talk to him so i couldn't activate the statues later on now then you want to head uh, around uh by these uh, bone structures once again you want to collect as much crystal marrow as possible because one of the missions will require you to have around 24 to 36 in order to complete all of its process so you want to complete as, uh, collect as much as possible while you can but other than that you want to come towards this direction use this electro flower then immediately jump off and fly towards this direction enter the barrier your next electric list is right on the barrier there so and then right after that you want to teleport to this waypoint here and then once again you want to collect as much crystal uh, as much as crystal marrow as you can find near the area other than that you want to fly to the this bone structure off by the seaside and the electric is floating underneath this tiny arch here once you have done that turn back towards the teleportation waypoint and work your way back uh, while collecting as much as possible and then uh, you should be able to see the next one really easily once you have reached the teleportation waypoint it's right in front of you on another bone structure it's easily uh, obtainable so i will not talk too much about it okay something i found uh it's a tomb statue that i think you can interact with i will sure be sure to find all of them in a guide for it. i do believe you get a luxurious chest at the end and an achievement for it and other than that once you have collected that electric list want to make your way towards this direction and i have already collected this one by accident but it's right on top of this tent area easily obtainable uh out in the open so make sure you collect it it should be right here now once you have done that then turn towards this direction now and start working your way you can ignore the enemies on the way uh, since uh, i have cleared out majority of enemies in the area um then you want to head towards this tiny shrine and it's by this tiny shrine like the other one in tatarasuna 
Once you have collected that one, then you want to teleport to this domain. If you do not have it, work your way from the teleportation uh, from the statue that works as well. But other than that, you want to come towards this little peak here. On top of it is an electro flower that you can interact with. So you can teleport your way to get your next electric goods. Once you have done that, continue flying towards the uh, direction of the domain. Uh, reach the higher platform over here. Then there is a little hole nearby this electro flower. And you want to, there's your next electric list just floating here. We want to collect it and not drop down too far because we're going to collect other two ne nearby in the area. Then now you want to work your way towards this direction and drop down really easily. It's out in the open and just drop down you'll get the next one. Then you want to make your way towards this direction I'm aiming at. And then the next electric list is hanging in between uh, trees, two tree branches will be easily obtainable. It's right here. Once you have get this one, then you want to teleport to the highest point of the area, which is, we will be using this teleportation waypoint uh, really often, this one. If you haven't unlocked it, go unlock it. It's really essential in the next parts of collecting the electric list. Then you want to come towards here and defeating the enemy here, then you'll be able to grab this chest and the electro flower with, that, with ease. Then once again, you want to use it to teleport to gain enough heights to grab the electroclus, but right after you grab it, turn your way towards the left side and start gliding. The next electroclus will be hanging really high in the air, so do not drop down, just keep going that direction until you see it. And here it is. Um, once you have grabbed it, once you can teleport your way back to the same teleportation, teleportation waypoint that you used earlier. Then you want to turn back around and we start collecting the other ones in the area. First of all, you want to drop down from where you have grabbed the electro seed flowers. Um, then dropping down here, right here, underneath this little platform is another electric list. Once you have grabbed it, turn your way back around towards this direction, then just keep going. Then you will see treasure hoarders down here. Uh, they're searching for something. And once you have defeated them, there's a little cave you can go inside. Your next electric list is inside. Once you have grabbed it, once again, you want to teleport your way back up to the same teleportation waypoint and work your way down. Now, uh, once you have teleported up from the waypoint, you want to head towards your south side from your map, uh, the same direction that you traveled last time. And then, But this time we go further and try to reach the platform where you can see these electric puzzles. Just stand on the edge and aim downward, you'll be able to see your next electric list. Once you have collected this one, you want to immediately turn back to, and able to reach the same platform you jump down from, because the next electric list is uh, on that level. Then, once you have came back, walk towards this direction, your next electric list is really visible to uh, standing on this broken tree stump here. And then, now you want to turn to the right, work your way up this uh, stone pillar, stone section, then to make sure you have enough height to gain the next electric list. Make sure you have enough stamina for long term flying as well. Uh, once you have gained this next electric list, you want to turn right side towards the beach side and aim towards that tiny stone pillar in the center. Once you have reached that stone pillar, is once again one of the electric flowers you can interact with to use it to teleport up to get your electric list. Once you have done so, uh, turn to the right, you can see one of the same uh, really familiar barriers. Once again, you want to use the electric flower uh, ability to be able to access uh, this next electric list. Um, just so you know, the next section will be heavily uh, mission heavy. And I'll leave time, time uh, stamps down below, so if you're only here to collect electricals, it'll be really easy to follow. But here, once again, you want to teleport back to the same teleportation waypoint, work your way back down here. There's your next warding pillar that you can uh, interact with. And it will ask you for the same um, things, one pearl, one stone. Now, the first stone is down that little cave I told you to not go down earlier. Before you go down, you want to grab an electric flower so you can interact with the mechanism in the barrier. Once you've done so, the water level should go down. Then down here is a puzzle to solve with enemies nearby. Uh, it, sh it shouldn't be that hard. Once you have solved it, another hidden gate will open with a chest. Once you make your way down, uh, go down to the end section, you'll be able to find, I do believe, is the warden pillar stone that you require. Uh, be sure you use a electro character so you can interact with the podium here so you can get out easily. Uh, I really recommend using Fischl in the area because uh, once again 
both characters for the puzzle solving in this island is basically essential. Now once you have get that, work your way towards the serpent head area and you can go for the next electric place. Uh, now you want to make your way, so you go towards the tooth area of the serpent's head area. And then there you will see two electric uh, spirits. You, uh, If you have seen them, you probably have done so before, all you have to do is follow them. Uh, up to a certain point and these two they, they will eventually head towards the eye section the skull section of the serpent head uh, the first one is pretty straightforward uh, it should be really easy to track the second one is quite tricky for me i had to go around and back and forth quite a lot so all you have to do here is interact with it once it has reached the platform and you interact with it on the platform you want to immediately turn back towards the teeth area which i didn't do uh, which cost me a quite a lot of time. So once you came back to the tooth area, interact with it again, then you'll head towards the skull area. Then once again, all you have to do is follow it to the top and towards the eye section. And then a hidden gate will open, um, allowing you to ac access your next electric class. Once you come down here, uh, you can you, you can feel free to leave this area, but since I'm already here, I might as well solve the puzzle for you guys. So all you have to do here is interact with this switch here, down back at here, then the hidden gate will once again open, come down here, you'll see a locked door. All you have to do is interact with the top left, bottom right, top right, bottom left, and then the gate should open. And then down here is not much other than one of the pieces to solve a later achievement uh, thing I'll be making another video for and it just any summary but coming down here also you can use it to make your way towards your next electric list and near where you can solve the puzzle for your, your warding um, pearl so all you have to do is come here switch then you can come out from that hidden cave here you will see a lot of disguised electric pillars uh, only three of them I think four of them are uh, real. All you have to do is hit them with electric skills. This is once again why official is basically uh, a time saver because she's a both character and she can use electric skill to far away uh, um, stone pillars. Once you have activated it, the chest in the center will unlock. And here is the electric flower you can interact with to gain enough height to fly over here to uh, get your next electric pillars. Okay, well, our next electric pillars is right up here. Once you have get it, then now we work our way towards uh, the serpent's head area to solve the pearl um, puzzle. Make your way towards where the serpent's head on the map is, then eventually you should come out from the cave and see one again, uh, once again one of these water barriers. All you have to do is the same process, you want to relay uh, the laser from the beginning statue to so it eventually reaches uh, the water bubble and do not try to outsmart it you need to use all of the pillars in order to uh, activate it so this time around you want to do this uh, one by one and making sure that you have used everyone okay here is something really unfortunate I tried to make my way towards the next pillar and Fisher just had to slide down and get randomly struck by a lightning Yes, very nice. My luck just has been so great recently. We'll make your way up, uh, coming up here, interact with the pillar and see where you can, uh, where the laser shoots from. For this pillar, you want to aim it downward towards the pillar that is closest by. So it will relay downward and then hit the other pillars. You do not need to interact with the next, uh, the pillar that's nearby. Uh, to you, below you, you just need to come towards this pillar far away that it has relayed to, turn its head towards the other pillar closer to the water barrier and then uh, you just need to adjust the last pillar to aim it towards the water barrier then you just need to shoot an arrow then the water barrier should open. Once the barrier is open, you're free to use the flower once again to teleport to gain enough height so you can easily collect the pearl. After you collect it, all you need to do is teleport your way back to the waypoint, then go back to the ward statue to give it uh, the two items you just collected. After you have done so, the area's weather should change back to normal and um, no lightning should struck you anymore, uh, like what happened to me. Once again, you want to collect as much as crystal marrow as possible. And here, if you fly towards this direction, you'll see a shrine and a samurai just kneeling down. This is another one of those daily things you can do on the island. This island 
really just have the most daily missions that you have seen in Genshin Impact. All you have to do is pray to the statue three times, come back in the next day, and then there'll be a free chest for you, and do that repeatedly for a few days, then a mission uh, will proceed, and I do believe for a few days you can keep getting chests for it. And here come to this kid called uh, Choji, and he will ask you for the crystal mirrors that we have been collecting for. Uh, proceeding with his mission, eventually he'll give you chest and uh, achievements. But once again, it's quite time sensitive. I do believe you need to pass a few days in order to fully complete it. But first of all, you need to give him 12 crystal marrow and uh, he'll show you a treasure location here. All you need to do is collect it later on, go back to him. But once since we're here, might as well solve the puzzle for the last um, water barrier. All you need to do is aim the initial one towards this corner one and this corner one towards this far one over here then this one aim towards the one down to the right side of this one and then once you have done so um, making sure the one down there lower lower to you shoots to the other one over here this one turn its way towards the furthest you can see that little stone, uh, that little relay at the back end here, and then make your way to the last one over here. And then turn its head towards the bubble and lower it to aim towards the bubble. And then the last puzzle is solved. Then inside, uh, to our surprise, it's not actually any of the items for the warden pillar, but the warden pillar itself. So then now, in, once you have uh, interact with it, then it will once again show you elemental trails so where you can get it. Um, I have missed on this one earlier, I should have collected that earlier. But this one, basically you want to use the flower they collected a electrical, um, electrical is earlier from. Teleport high enough, there is a barrier inside. Barrier inside is your warding stone. Once you have collected the warding stone, I recommend teleporting back to the highest point uh, on the mountain drop down. That's an easier way to make your way back to the warding pillar and make your way to your next component for the last warding pillar. And once you drop down, um, send grammar achievements. Once you have dropped down from here, what you have to do is go towards the other direction that you haven't discovered from the warding stone. Um, but before that, uh, let's can come back to Choji, talk to him. Then he will ask you to come back another time, etc. Um, if you want to read what the story is about, it's it's quite a sad story. It's, <laughs> once again, we always make these sad stories. But um, you can read it if you want. Anyway, if, if you have came in this side of the cave, you could have easily missed this tiny bit of this hidden cave towards the left side. But here's your next electroclist and a uh, silly that is hidden inside. Once you follow the silly, he will lead you towards um, the next section where your warding pearl is hidden at. And be careful here, there's quite a lot of abyss mages. Uh, you need to fight. First of all, is this electric one. Once you have grabbed the flower and deactivated the barrier, there will be three more hydro mage that shows up. So make sure you have ice or electric flower, uh, electric characters to deal with them. Once you have uh, defeated them, then I recommend you get enough height. Uh, one of the bone structures over here is probably the perfect fit to fly down to grab your um, pearl for the wooden pillar. Once you have grabbed it, you'll feel, you can feel free to go back towards the pillar and. Uh, deactivate the weather and then once you have done so we'll collect the furthest electric that's on the map uh, in the area starting for the warding pillar you want to work your way towards the south side and uh, if you have this teleportation waypoint, it will also work. So now you want to keep aiming towards the south side, then you should see these uh, tiny island with stone pillars on the water. Um, then use electric flowers to give you teleportation abilities to go to different areas of these rocks. Make sure you have a fire character to keep hitting these torches that's on the these little islands. Then you'll also unlock a chest in the area. But here's your next electric clothes nearby, you can also collect it while you're already here. But um, I will not showcase where you can get the chest. Now, once you have grabbed that electricless, now you want to come back towards that guy he asked you knuckle weeds for. Um, once you have given him enough uh, knuckle weeds and 
enough time has passed by, you can manually change the time. You want to talk to him, then enemies will spawn after his dialogue, defeating the enemies. Then he will tell you that he will need even more knuckle weeds. You just have to leave him by the front of his door. Uh, so basically, there's an, once again another daily request that's not shown to you. Uh, all you have to do is leave 12 knuckle weeds to him. I do believe all you need to do is two more times. So make sure you have again 36 in total. Uh, possibly that's all you need. Then in the end, the mission will be completed and along with the achievement. Once you have done so, teleport back to the waypoint and work your way towards the uh, this side, uh, towards where the uh, ship spawner is at. And your next electricus is just on this little boat here. You can ignore the enemies if you want, you just all you need to do is summon your boat and then work your way towards the, um, uh, the west side, the west side of the island. And then your next electricus is on this island over here. Once you have grabbed it, then if you have done all the three parts of the warding stone, Kaji will be also nearby in the area. All you need to do is go to him and he'll tell you is one more. Uh, and he, here is the rune of a lost city. Then there will be one more puzzle for you to solve. It's the same type of puzzle. All you need to do is deactivate the water barrier. Then in the end, once you have done so, another warding pillar will be revealed. Um, along with a tiny boss fight. Uh, once you have done so, in the end, the mission's reward is the poem blueprint Kaji will give to you. But here is the puzzle uh, solving sequence I'll just show you. Uh, I don't need to talk too much about it. This one is actually relatively easy than the previous two that we have done. Pay attention to this archway here with this flower, it's been deactivated and here is where later on we'll solve the puzzle to get the last electric glass. In the meantime, um, we'll solve the puzzle and continue with the fight and once you have solved these areas, um, relay puzzle, then the center barrier will be unlocked. Um, you don't need to have more um, puzzle to collect the warding stone and the pearl because it's all inside this barrier. All you need to do is defeat the enemy inside. But be sure to be prepared. Um, this, this boss is not uh, too hard, but it's not too easy. It's one of the Maku Kenki's uh, models. And this fight is probably one of the most uh, particle uh, fabulous fight I have uh, uh, actually seen in Genshin Impact. Uh, if you have uh, high enough graphics, this fight is absolutely incredible if you pay attention to the details of what the designers did to you. But once you have defeated the enemy in, in the area, uh, both the stone and the pearl can be found once you have given it to it, then all the weather on the island will return to normal and you will not need to worry about something like getting struck by lightning out of nowhere, like what happened to me, happening anymore. But even though it's a cool thing that happens on the area, I guess it, for our safety is worth it. Once you have talked to Kaji, then he'll give you the blueprint. And this blueprint uh, also uses, I do believe, the amethyst uh, stones to craft like any of the other blueprints. But once have, you have done that, now let's solve the puzzle for the lost electrical. Once you have came back to this area, all you need to do is stand on this stone, then a puzzle will uh, unveil, uh, reveal. Then all you need to do is step down every single uh, stone slate without repeating and once you have done so you can gain the ability to use the flower and the chest will also unlock uh, i grabbed the chest first and went back down to grab the flower once again so i can teleport to get the electricals oh my um talked way too much and here we finally have completed collecting all the electricals in the region uh electricals collection so far, uh, only levels your um, statue of the seven to level six with 20 electricals, uh, which again, once again, hints at different regions needed to be unlocked. 
uh, here you can see I only have 93 because I, uh, on my second account I still didn't reach level 17 for the sacred soccer tree but no matter what I'll show you even if you offer all uh, the statue will reach level 6 and you will still have plenty to be offered to reach the next level even though all we can get is 95 in the current region so do not worry about if you cannot collect all of them but here is all of them so far we can collect if you level your statue to level 6 you can get two um, constellations for your electric main character and I do believe that is 240 primal gems and along with uh, I do believe is 40 or 50 electric sigils but other than that uh, here I want to showcase the mission for uh, Choji he once you have came back uh, at the right time he will talk to you about uh, asking you for crystal marrow once again uh, this kid doesn't really learn his lesson from what we talked to him earlier but either way give him he, uh, what he wants we can't make it much out of the crystal marrows anyway uh, he'll explain his story is quite sad that he'll invite you to his house here is where you can gain one of the recipes um, that only can be obtained from this quest um, once he has invited you to his house he'll ask you for uh, four pieces of fowl so basically chicken legs and I do believe flowers and uh, eggs so you can proceed to make the food and then once you have uh, you have given him the ingredients then he will trade you with the recipe and he'll ask you to cook it there is a cooking station to the right of this house you can interact with and use it to cook this food is actually um, really good it's not something that you want to ignore it gives you 15% crit chance if you have cooked it perfectly and the ingredients that are required is not too expensive as well um, I do believe this will be quite the food that you can use um, to actually just boost your stats really good um, for quite cheap amount of ingredients and um, I think I probably will be using it quite a lot in the future since 15% of crit chance it's still quite a lot for a cheap food like this but any other than that um, since uh, this is quite a journey we have reached the end now um, I've collected all the electricals We've done so many, so many missions together. Uh, for Choji's uh, mission, all you need to do at the end, he'll request you to investigate this shrine here. Uh, he'll reveal a little bit of information about his family. Then, story is still quite sad. You can see why this kid has has become how he is and what he is. He'll explain he that he decides also to start traveling and look for his family, etc. Uh, later on, I do believe you come back here interacting with him a few times then he will appear on different areas of the map eventually he will go back to Narukami Island and a luxurious chest I do believe it's a luxurious uh, chest or precious chest that he will give to you for free once you talk to him one more time and achievement will be unlocked and uh, that also hints at maybe later on you can also meet him another time but other than that I will try to do a achievement guide and chest hunt on Inazuma Island. Uh, stay tuned for that. Thank you very much for watching and hear me rambling about nonsense till the very end. Thank you very much if you have stayed and if you like these type of contents, I'll be sure to make more. And uh, since Genshin Impact still have so many years to come by, I'll be sure to update this guide when the rest of Inazuma comes out. I'll show you where the remaining electricals is at. Before that, peace out.